Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Um, today's video, we're going to go over some of the new cards that were leaked over uh, World Masters. Uh, huge congrats to Cybers uh, for winning. Uh, what a way to just walk off and hit a homer. Uh, he's not going to play Gwen anymore. He's going on to be a doctor. So, uh, congrats to him on, I, I mean, winning World Masters and then, I mean, going out there and helping people. You know, that's way more important than masters but it is really cool that he won um also too before we start going over the cards uh today's video is sponsored by once again oh, wrong side into the am um uh huge huge shout outs to them man for uh, sponsoring the video it's uh hoodie season you uh you know I, where i'm at right now it's cold as hell <laughs> um so, you know, they do have uh, hoodies uh, up available right now, uh, different colors. You get the basic hoodies with uh, different colors, um, reasonable price, you know, and they're super comfy. Um, I got a couple on the way. They didn't, I was hoping they would come before the video uh, was ready to be um, set up. But once I get one, um, I'll definitely uh, be sporting it for sure. I love the colors. And then they also do have the uh, t-shirt club you could sign up for. It's 15 bucks a month and they send you a brand new t-shirt uh, every month uh, really cool some of them are exclusive I believe too um, really great on that portion and then uh, just the regular designs themselves uh, these are the basic tees if you go with those or the um, the designs um, I know I already got a couple coming from my girlfriend so I'm super excited about that they also have the hats uh, I believe they have winter hats as well too um, but uh, yeah, huge shout outs to them, man. Um, super happy to, uh, you know, have had them, you know, approach me this year. And, you know, I've, like, like I've said before, I've turned down a lot of um, sponsored streams because I, I just don't feel that I believe in them or I feel that, you know, they fit into my lifestyle or whatever. But into the AM definitely fits. Um, definitely. Uh, just very grateful for them thank you guys so much and uh, make sure you check out the website and use the promo code devil's deal you get uh, get some money off when you do it and you help me out so thank you to everybody that does that now into the video and some leaks that we got um, first card up let's go with the uh, my personal favorite uh, the vampires um, Regis reborn uh, shout out to uh, Hesser Gaming uh, for getting these up so quick. Um, check him out on Twitter. He's uh, the translator on World Masters and uh, interviewer. He does a great job, man. We love Hesser. Um, but let's check these out. I didn't really dive into them because I was modern and didn't really get to look at them too much. But uh, so he's a 1 for 13 Regis Reborn Vampire. Deploy. Drain an enemy unit by 3. At the end of your turn, while in hand or deck, if there's any enemy units with bleeding, increase own bakes power by one. So does the draining compound? So every time you put drain on this, you gain three points? And if there's an enemy unit with bleeding, increase base own base power by one. So, I mean, if you think about the cards that have bleeding, um, Crimson Curse, I mean, you're going to run that in this list. Um, Detloff is damage a unit with bleeding, but um, Unseen Elder is a bleed unit, friend. Um, he hits them. Uh, I believe, too, Gale and a couple of the other ones, Fletter and um, uh, Catacan were changed. So, um, the card seems really good. It's a night, like, uh, I believe in the dev stream, they mentioned it to be, a, you know, a finisher for vampires. I, were, I was hoping they would get a scenario so you can, like, swarm more and get more bleeding out. But, um, it definitely seems like it's going to be... playable if you can get the vampires to pop off i, I think there's going to be some other small changes to vampires uh, they didn't highlight all of them in the dev stream but 
we'll have to wait and see. Really cool card. Um, next one was, uh, let's go with uh, Hamelfart. Um, so, Swarm, Congregate, Support, three for one, well, three, one armor, 12. Okay, it's Profit four, so that's seven. Spawn and play Congregation, so if you have one of the little Acolyte guys on there, he'll, he'll spawn three of them. Fee two, destroy an allied Fire Swarm token, then summon a Bronze Fire Swarm unit from your graveyard to the same position. Cool down one. So you could start swarming and getting Cursed Knights to keep from getting statuses on it. Um... seems kind of expensive it gets it gets killed in one turn I guess you could spawn a bunch of them though in one in one go so you could he's a spender so it's it seems like it if you're gonna play that deck you would put this in it I'm sure people are gonna try it. This will probably be the last one I try because it's just—it's not my style. I don't—I never really cared for. I like the crime version of Syndicate, where it was like a swarmy type deal. But this—I don't, I don't know. I—I I th I do think it'll be okay though. Um, but it'll—it'll it'll get the tar kicked out of it by like. Um, Matic and stuff if you're still going to use that kind of deck. Um, this next one I love. I love this card. Um, series, Fearless. This card was in the game a long, long time ago. Um, when I didn't have as much gray hair. <laughs> um, she's 4 for 10. Siri Fearless, Human Warrior. After you've dealt damage to allied units 9 times... I will do it nine times. Summon self from your deck to your ranged row. Zeal order. So she does this instantly. Fully heal an allied unit and damage another unit by the same amount. So say worst case scenario use this on like a Hafru. But you're going to be using this with warriors and shit. I would think. Um, hermits maybe. Those aren't warriors either. What warriors self damage? There aren't really a whole lot of them. But, I mean, if you healed something for 4, and then you damage by 4, it plays for 12. And it might be some key removal. There might I, I doubt there's going to be something that damaged that you're going to get that big of a heal. But, I mean, sometimes people leave ones up, you know what I mean? But I think once they realize this card's going to be out and about, they're going to... You know, probably, you know, try to get these. I like how these cards are like tutors. How they just pop out. Um, but I love this card. I think this card's awesome. It's kind of like Canute, sort of. But I guess you could play Canute, hit Olaf. And then, no, you don't want to do that because Olaf boosts again. I guess you could somehow damage it again if you wanted to I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm still thinking of combos with this one but I know I'm gonna try it because I love it I've always loved this art it's great um, I liked series a lot in the game too I thought she was really just a really badass character um, so I'm happy she gets a second card well she gets her second card back awesome um, next one the great son uh, I like this card, but I'm not excited about this card. Um, I'm happy because it's tactics. And you add consistency to your tactics deck. But also, too, like in the same breath, like you draw this card, but you draw your good cold, colds, cards. Like it's an 8 for 10. So it's just like if you get if you if you aren't drawing well and you draw this you could fix that but if you do draw well this card's a negative 
See what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Or am I reading this wrong? It's 8 for 10. Deploy. Sort cards in your deck from highest to lowest provision cost at the start of the game. Move self up by one position in the deck for each tactic in your starting deck. <coughs> I think we're going to probably be playing it with the, still the same five. You can't go series, can you? Can you go uh, series with the hyper thin list? Because they made charge changes to Venendal Elites. Um... Siri, it's uh, you could still put it in a Siri Nova deck. I don't know if you want to put this with Hyper Thin, but I guess it would work. No, would it work out? Because you want to keep the high provision cards in your deck. But I guess if you know you're going to draw them in that order, you could stop at a certain point. It seems like that's I, I that's what I'll probably try for like a Venendal Siri hyper thin list with this maybe seems okay make sure you draw your hyper thin tools you won't brick as bad I would imagine that's that, that's where I, I mean if you're going for consistency what's more consistent than you know hyper thin so I, like I said it's a cool card I'm just it's not exciting it, like when I when I saw tactics, I, like the minute I saw this, I saw capitalized tactics, and I was like, "Ooh!" And it was <laughs> it's kind of a letdown, but we'll still give it a go. Um, the next two cards are really really cool. Uh, the Radovid card, Radovid returns. He's not the Punisher that he used to be. If you remember Beta, I did love playing uh, Punisher Radovid deck. That list was really fun. Um, six for ten. Human soldier, deploy. If the base version of your leader ability has more than one charge, give it an additional charge. So, order, repeat the deploy ability. So, th this would be really nice with Uprising, if you're going to play Uprising somehow. Because you could play the leader, finish it out, on that row get the pitchfork guy down play this get another one and then get another one that seems if, if I'm reading the card correctly that seems bananas in, in uprising I, I mean I I think that's I think that cards gonna be really good I mean if you got a full Say you start it with okay seven, you land the uprise, you know the the uprising guy. On that row, you got seven. You play this in the back row. That's eight. You get another one in the next turn. That's nine on that row, all full of boosts. I think that's nuts. That's where I'm looking at it. I mean, I'm sure you could probably play it too. It's stockpile and shield wall or even you know inspired ze zeal you're getting two more i mean it's it's probably going to be busted with that too is the ma since the mages are still kind of where they are i mean they're not really changed i think they changed the provisions or something with them but the mages are still going to be insanely good but being able to use this two more times and in inspired zeal another one i mean this card could play for 40 points the way those mages pop off but i mean even still too like the like i said the uprising you know that's a possibility too but this card's really good this card's really good and then uh, the last one here saskia i love this art the premium looked incredible um I seen something too. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but um, it was something that uh, Malegion said. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, replies. Okay, so. 
So it says Saskia, four for 13, Commander. She is a dragon. Now everybody saw this and thought Harmony. It says deploy if you have at least 10 different primary categories in your starting deck summon a random bronze scoyatel unit with a primary category that is not on your side of the battlefield from your deck to this row at the end of your turn lower the counter by one when the counter reaches zero reset and repeat the ab deploy ability counter three Okay, and then, so everybody saw this and they're like, Harmony, but it, it's like, you don't really want to summon Harmony stuff if it's already on the board. It's kind of counterproductive. But this is what Malegion said. Uh, to clarify, she is not intended as a Harmony card. And for her tags, you can also use neutrals, specials, and artifacts. Personally, I found her most useful in a movement deck with all the engines. So, you're pairing this up with the movement tools and the new Milva card, which I like how the Milva card works, but in, if unless I'm reading it wrong, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I, I But I, I think I'm reading it wrong, but we'll have to wait and see, but... Um, I love this art. I'm excited for this card to see some play. Um, I love that this is a human dragon. <laughs> I think that's great. Um, it's just a dragon, but it, uh, it looks awesome. The premium looks great. Um, we're getting all these cards on Tuesday. I'm going to try and get something out on... It'll be later on Tuesday. Because um, when stuff drops on days like that... Um, it makes it kind of tough for me to get content out, but um, I'll try to get something going. We'll have to wait and see. Um, hopefully, everybody doesn't burn through these decks, you know, really quick. Because it looks like the way they're doing content and stuff in the coming year, I don't know if they're like holding things back, and I I, I don't know. It just seems like they're holding content back for next year to ramp up for a bigger um a bigger 2023 but it doesn't seem like a good idea to kind of like sack a whole year i don't know that from what i was watching with slama stepping down and everything else i was like you know i i don't know it it was just really odd is what i would say um so hopefully you know we get some some new cards after these around february i would hope <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see but um and they didn't show anything with project necker which i was kind of sad about they showed one art but it hasn't really said what it is like they're still working on it but like unless this thing is like something that's kind of similar to what um mercenaries is for hearthstone which i actually like playing that believe it or not me and my girlfriend play it all the time um, I really enjoy it, but, um, I hope it's something like that where you can, you know, accumulate cards and use them to fight bosses and stuff similar to, like, Thronebreaker, but more of an in-game client. I think that would be great. And it might even maybe, too, be able to coincide with, like, seasonals, you know? But, I don't know. Like always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, too, thank you to everybody, you know, that uh, sent me some well wishes, man. I was, in, I was in bad shape, and I was really, really scared. So, you know, when when people came and, you know, gave me, a, you know, it, it, you know, it's, it's amazing how something, you know, so, so small is like, hey, you know, hope you feel better and stuff like that, you know, cheers you up. So I really do appreciate all that. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.